This is the Horrifying Police Department. How may I help you? Uh, please. I just saw something I can't see. What? What did you see? Well, first off, what's your address? It's 146 Horrifying Nights Drive. Okay. What is your name? My name is Robert. Just call me Bob. My wife and I and my two kids just got home. And I look across the street. And I hear screaming. So I tell the kids to run inside. Tell my wife to go inside. And I saw a group of people dragging two people, our neighbors, across the street into their home. And because the blinds were open, I saw them get killed. And it was the Cormay's copycats. Okay, how do you know it's the Cormay's copycats? Because on the window written in blood is CMC. Okay, we're gonna send someone there right away. Why don't you go back to your wife and kids, stay with them, do not go outside. Can you see them? I can't see them anymore, I assume they went out the back. Could you see their faces? Could you see anything distinct? No, they were wearing masks that were covering their whole face, they were um, wearing hoodies as well. What color hoodies? Uh, navy blue. Okay. Were they wearing jeans, sweatpants, sweatpants, gray sweatpants? Uh, anything about the shoes? Um, it was blue and red. I couldn't get the brand name. Okay. What would you say their age is? I, I couldn't tell. From their height, I mean, I don't know, 20s maybe? Alright. Stay on the line. We're going to send someone there right away. Thank you. All right, you with me? You with me? All right, kicking the door in. Or if I was police department, put your hands up. Or copy copycats if you're in here. Anybody else make yourself known? Where the fuck are you? If there's anybody in here, please make yourself known. We have medics on the way. Right, go check over there to the left. Uh, Jack, check over there to the right. Um, I have two bodies here. I thought you said the person who called the bodies were killed up in the living room. Um, I have two bodies here. Is these are these the only two that live here? They are. Okay, then the bodies were moved then. All right, I'm gonna make sure that they're dead. All right, copy that. Yeah, one is down. One is uh, deceased. The other is deceased too. Send the coroner here right away. You at four, five, six. Uh, we're clear. All right, thank you. Coroner has arrived.
How you doing, detectives? Uh, not good. Um, so the bodies were killed upstairs. Obviously, they were moved down here because there's not as much blood. Okay. I did check upstairs already. I agree with you. With that much blood loss, that's the only reason why they were able to put CMC on the window. Um, did you check around? Are they gone? Yeah, the Cormier's cup cats are gone. Okay. Alright, let me take a look at these two bodies first. Because I noticed something unique about this crime scene, other than the CMC on the window. What's that? I'll get to that. But, um, can you actually tell, uh, my partner, uh, Michael, can you tell him to make sure that he gets the lab ready? Okay, yeah, sure. Alright, good. Alright. Both of these victims are, I would say, early to mid-twenties. Say that 20 to 26 range. Both were stabbed multiple times. You take your pick on what could have killed them. It looks like artery was cut on each of them. These people bled out, but it was painful. It was slow. It was not like within a minute or two. This was a several minutes long before they passed away. Um, I think victim number, I think the husband died first. Then the wife. Yeah, the kids ran out. The husband and wife both told them to run out. That's what it looks like. Okay, where are the kids now? Uh, we called their grandparents and they picked them up. All right. They didn't see anything, did they? No, they did not. They ran out the back door. I actually think the Cormier's copycats also ran out the back door. So at least they didn't take the kids. So I think the husband died first. He was stabbed at least seven, eight times. There was an artery cut on the jugular vein and the aorta. The wife died second. She it, she took the longest to die. In terms of when these bodies died, obviously they were just killed. The reason why I say the wife is because there was actually a little bit more blood down here still. So while they were moving the bodies, she was still bleeding. It looks like the husband was already dead when they were moving the body. Whereas the wife was still bleeding, so she, I believe, was still alive. So they brought them down here. Which is their signature, they like bringing the bodies into the basement, usually they kill them in the basement, so this is even more unique. So, I want to get to that one thing that makes this one feel really different. Okay, and what's that? That notebook in the middle of the floor right there. Can you give me that? Sure. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to need to go to the lab immediately. Why? There was something written on the first page, but that page is torn off. So I'm going to do an old trick. So I'm going to go to the lab, and I'll tell you guys if I have and if I find anything. Okay? Good. Michael, detectives, I told you guys if I found anything, what, so I want you guys to come here. Okay, so what the hell were you talking about that something was written on the page? Okay, so, there's an old trick I have to do. So back in the day, you know, when, you know, if a killer left anything that had any writing on it, it would be on a notebook, it wouldn't be, you know, in a message or email or stuff like that. It would be specifically in a notebook. 
Well, there's an old trick. If you actually go to the other page and you scribble, you'll actually get a message from the other page. That's where it gets interesting. Really interesting, actually. There's been two mysteries that we've been trying to solve for three, four years now. Okay, what's that? The first one, of course, is we're trying to find out who are the corn-based copycats, how many of them are there. Now, the guy that was on the line on 911 said that he saw a group of people, so I assume at least four to five people. Which means this is a whole group of killers instead of just Brandon, the original corn-based killer. The thing about this is that we've been trying to solve that, but the other one is that we've been trying to figure out what CMC means. And I found the first letter. What do you mean you found the first letter? Well, I did the scribble across the second page. The lettering, the words from the first page came around. And I found it. You found the first letter? Yes, I did. The first letter is copycat. Holy shit, I thought it was corn. I thought it was Cormier's copycat, but just like with CMM, Cormier's mystery was too obvious. CMC, Cormier's copycat, was too obvious. The reason why I know copycat is the first layer, not the third, is because it legit says first at the top. It's very small, but it does say first. And the right under that in big letters is copycat. So, for the first time in a while, We've solved something on the Cormier's copycat case. They wanted us to find it. That's the only reason why they left that notebook. They would not have left it there if one of us wanted to figure it out that we could do the old writing test. The old scribble test. But there, there would have been no way. They wanted us to find out that the first letter was copycat. Now that we know that, we have to find out the next two letters. We have to solve how many people are in this group now. Because it's not just one or two, several. That's our next mystery we need to solve. So let's go do that. Now.